Now, to start with, what most people call taking a picture, we like to call capturing an image, or better yet, capturing video data. The better the quality of the data, the better the quality of the image. The more you can see, and the more you can do with it. Okay so far? Makes sense. Now, there's all kinds of equipment for capturing images. Setting up the best CCTV requires figuring out the best hardware for business owners' needs. Now, some hardware is just no good for that no matter what. This is a webcam. Check this out. You can see? Blurry, out of focus, okay for internet. Totally awful if you need quality video. There's just not enough detail. We've got a capture, but it's not what we call recognition quality. The resolution is too low. We got analog, digital, black and white, color. Now all these cameras use chips, and generally speaking, the bigger the chip, the better the picture quality. You get better detail, more control of contrast, like between very bright and very dim areas. Like in the pharmacy. Exactly. Hey, Andrews, do you mind walking over to the mannequin for me? I'm gonna bring back our friend the webcam. Check this out. Look familiar? Okay. Now, watch this. This is a good camera. Higher resolution, plenty of dynamic range. See? A camera like this one has no trouble keeping up with shifting conditions. Far superior capture technology. Higher resolution, better dynamic range. Here, look at them side by side. There's no comparison. Exactly. The minimum camera resolution should be 480 horizontal lines. But it's not just about resolution and range. That camera, the good one, also is a faster lens. Faster? A faster lens allows more light in. It has a larger maximum aperture opening, which lets more light into the focal plane of the camera. Now what this does is, it allows for brighter images in dimmer lighting. More light means more depth of field. Depth of field? The more depth of field you have, the more of the scene is in focus. You also have to consider focal length. Focal length? Right. Some cameras zoom in and out, whereas others have a fixed focal length. It all depends on what you need. Right. Say, for anything at a point of transaction, like a cash register or a toll booth, the subject's head should fill at least 15% of the total image in frame, giving you the detail that you need. So you'd like the back-to-school sign at 0%, right? Right. Lines of sight are always critical. You want to make sure there aren't any obstructions. Which is all part of having the right sight plan. Now here is a store blueprint. Now this is retail, so the key camera spots are at transaction points. Cash registers? Right, and entrances and exits. Do we need both? The more the better. You're going to want cameras here, 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 and here. Now, you'll have to throw in some extra coverage for restrooms and the aisles and other key points. Can you show coverage? Of course. Hang on. Oh, good overlap. Right, you want multiple chances to capture a good image. Guy comes in here, boom, you got him. Guy goes to get a snack or something, boom, got him again. Guy comes over to check out, boom, exits the building, and boom. Also, camera height is very important. You want to make sure it's as close to eye level as possible. Otherwise, you might lose out to a baseball cap. And with a good sight plan, you can make sure that you don't have any blind spots. You can toy around with the camera positions, do a test recording, and make sure that you're getting what you wanted. Another big thing here is lighting. I thought lens speed took care of light problem. It helps, but it isn't the whole ballgame. Then what kind of camera do we get? No, no, I'm talking about actual lights. Here, take a look at this. See, the lighting is great in the morning, but by the afternoon, the sun is blowing out the whole frame. But look, you add an extra bank of lights to fill in during the afternoon to get more clarity. So you can balance bright light from one direction with light from another source. You're adding more light, but it's from another direction. It helps even things out. And sometimes if you have bright light through a big window, you have no choice but to tint the window or put up a shade. And if you're outside, say, in the street or parking lot, you need to set up timers on your artificial lights. You'd rather them come in a little earlier than a little later. Take a look at this. This is a gas station we worked with. They were having break-ins at the rear of the building, and they had a good quality camera and lights on a timer, but they weren't keeping up with how much earlier it was getting dark. 
a chance to see the bad guy, and we missed it. So they adjust their timer. A few days later, the same guy tries it again, but this time we got it. So I use higher resolution yep. and control for the right depth of feel and contrast. Mm -hmm. And then I put together a site plan with the correct camera coverage, positioning, frames per second, and lighting, and I'm more likely to get a recognition quality recording. You got it. Yeah. We're on our way. The home supply store has some video for us. We can pick it up. Hang on, there's a couple things you guys got to know before you can go. I'll call you when we're rolling. You can fill me in en route. You mean we just can't grab the tape and bring it back? Chances are there is no tape. Most systems nowadays are fully digital. So you're going to have to go over the recordings and make sure the video you want is there. The guy said it was there. Yeah, but it could be over-recorded by now, so make sure. And you need to figure out how much footage you need to collect. Then make sure you collect the native file with the proprietary player. Okay, slow down. Speak English, please. The native file is just the original form of a file. With most digital systems, the specific attributes of the video files are proprietary to the program that created it. You're not speaking English yet. DVRs use compression to get more space out of their storage. Some compression throws away potential image detail. The native file format is usually the least compressed. Best image, but you need specific manufacturer software to play it. A lot of systems export what we like to call open file, like AVI. Problem is they're usually compressed even further, which means image quality is reduced. Hmm. I actually understood that. Good. So, give me both formats. Uh, one other thing, we're going to need to know the output options on the machine to retrieve the video. Output options? Yeah, it could be a DVD, CD burner, or USB port. Okay, I'm with you. If we run into anything weird, we'll give you a shout from the store. Otherwise, we'll call you when we're inbound. Okay. <laughs> 